We found more swamp creatures living in my septic tank. You feel it? Pull it out! It's really slimy. It's slimy? Three, two, one. Going on in. And one, two. Oh. Alright, we're gonna pour them in right now. One, two. Do you see that? That's oh. insane! What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those of you that are new here, well I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. Guys, if you saw the title and thumbnail, well you will know that my sister and I are dealing with something crazy. We found more swamp creatures living in my septic tank. Now, this time it wasn't one, but hundreds, maybe even thousands. It is was absolutely insane what we just pulled out of that septic tank right there. I'm not gonna tell you guys what we got yet, but you are not gonna wanna miss what we found, how we found it, it's just, mind-blowing to say the least so before we actually hop into today's septic tank video well I want to tell you guys about a really cool event where you guys can actually come meet me in person it's actually in a couple of weeks August 25th through the 27th in Orlando and that is Animal Con Animal Con is gonna have your favorite animal content creators content creators from South Florida like myself Paul Cafaro Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch and all your other favorite South Florida youtubers as well as all your animal youtubers we got Brian Barcheck we have literally everyone is coming to this event so if you guys want to come meet me in person August 25th through the 27th in Orlando well guys I'm gonna be there you can actually get meet and greet tickets to come meet me I'll be meeting everyone taking photos you guys are not gonna want to miss it I get DMS every day asking how you guys can meet me and now is the perfect opportunity get your tickets link is in the description and come meet me and now that you guys got to hear all about Animal Con well the moment you guys have been waiting for we're gonna hop into today's video where we find thousands of swamp creatures living in my septic tank okay so you guys are not going to believe this so right now I'm in nebula my clouded leopards enclosure and I've been cleaning it for the past hour we're looking spotless here but nebula actually started pawing at the drain right here so I'll introduce you guys to nebula for those of you that don't know she is my year and a half old clouded leopard kid so she's just hanging out way up top she's going up on her branches and her poles but she was just pawing at this drain right here and I think there's something in the drain now. The reason why I can't believe this is because just a couple of months ago, we actually pulled a water snake out of my septic tank right over here. And that was actually in the lemur enclosure over there. But all of these drains are connected to the same septic tank. So I'm thinking right now that there might be more creatures. It could be more water snakes. I'm not sure, but I don't see any snakes. Now I can actually see perfectly in here and I don't see anything. Oh, I just heard something move right there. I just heard something move. Okay. Um, wait, let me put my, let me put, wait, I'm going to put my ear down to, to this. All right. Hello. Oh, it echoes a little. Um, I don't, I don't hear anything here. Um, this is really, really strange. Um, excuse me, Nebula. Nebs. Excuse me, ma'am. What did you see in there? What did you see in the drain? So Nebula is literally like 10 feet off of the ground, way up high right now. But Nebs, what was in this drain right here? So what I'm thinking is I'm going to give Hannah a call. So my sister Hannah is on the way over here now. I don't think there's anything in this drain right here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go look in the lemurs drain since we actually, that's where the problem originally started. So I'm going to wait for Hannah to get over here. We're going to check out the lemur drain so we can really figure out if there is more creatures living in my septic tank. One hour later. So we checked out Nebula's enclosure. We looked in her drain and we don't see anything there, but now we're over at the lemur since all of these drains are actually interconnected. Maybe we'll find something, Hannah, right? Maybe. Because Nebula was pawing at the drain like there was something in there. So as you guys know, we had a snake before, but I don't know if it's a snake this time. So we are in with my children. Hi. Ru and Rufus. Oh my goodness, my children. Oh my, oh, we have Ru. Hello, my daughter. And then we have my son, Rufus. Come here at once, child. So these are my black and white lemur kids. And these guys are just the absolute best. Big, big teddy bears. But Hannah... We have to look in the drain, so wait, guys. Wait, wait, yeah. Put put the swing up, um, okay. because there could be something oh. right in here. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! So the lemurs just pawed at the. Dr Did you see that, right, Hannah? Oh my gosh! Yeah. So the lemur just pawed right here, really hard, because they saw. I. What, what do you think? They definitely saw something. They Hannah. definitely saw something. They completely freaked out. So I think there's something in this drain. Um, it's actually dark, so we have our screwdriver like we had before. You open up this okay. one, okay? 
All right. So just start unscrewing Wait, which side it. do you want to do first? Uh, do, do this side right here. Okay. So basically what we're doing now, we're going to unscrew the drain and see if there's anything inside. See if anything is living in here because obviously there's something in these drains, something in the septic tank. Hannah, what is on your back? A wild animal. <laughs> the last screw. Three, two, yeah. one. All right, I'll take that. Okay. Open it up. One, two, three. Uh. Okay, so... We have some lettuce. We have some lemur poop. Now, is there anything over here? Is there? I can't see anything. It's too dark in there. Uh, I can't see. Let's see. Let's zoom, zoom, zoom. Th there's an object. It's moving. It's, -uh. it's moving right there. Nah. -uh. It's moving. Are you, you don't see it? <gasps> right there. Oh there's my some, gosh. I, it's hard to see. There's something. In, there's like a little creature. Open yeah. it up. Open the drain because oh it's. Oh Wait, wait. No, no, no. Don't open the drain because it could run out. Don't open the drain. Don't do it. Ru Rufus. Rufus, what do we do, buddy? What do we find, Rufus? Okay, Hannah, so why don't you why don't you just reach your hand in there and pull I don't know if my hand's gonna reach. Just just try. So alright, we oh my we gosh. have Rufus the assistant. So Hannah, oh my gosh. Okay, so stick your hand in. Okay. Go all the way in. You uh, gotta like do you feel it? Not yet. Where's I, your hand? Oh what? Come on, more. Go more! Uh, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, I feel it, Jacob. You feel it? Pull it out! It's really slimy. It's slimy? It's slimy. Well, what is it? Oh my gosh, it's really nasty, I think. Do you have it? Yeah. You have it? Yeah. Oh, it's, no, wait, it slipped out. It, it slipped, slipped out. out. Do we need to open it? No, 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 I, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Okay. okay. Do you... Oh. Do you guys hear that? Oh, oh. oh my gosh, oh my Jacob. Gosh. Jacob. Oh, guys. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. It just ran out! Oh wait, he God. ran out! Wait, we gotta get him! Wait, wait, wait! It's a tree frog! Go, 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 go! Alright, through the double door! Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! Wait, where'd he go? I don't know! Wait, wait, stop right here! Stop, stop, stop! I don't know. Okay, right there. Okay. It's right there. You just gotta go and put your hand right over it right now. Uh, wait, you got it? Yeah. Wait, let's see it. You want me to grab it? Uh, I think I got it. Okay, okay alright. Put your hand around it, but he'll jump. He'll jump. So we just caught it. It looks like. Oh my god, they're so slimy. It's slimy. Oh. So this was what was living in the drain. <gasps> so wait, let me see it. Oh my gosh. It's kind of cute. It's a little Cuban tree frog. So this is one of many invasive species that we have here in South Florida. Isn't that cool, Hannah? Yeah, it's really cute. So that was crazy that that was in the drain. Do you think that that. Whoa! Oh my. Whoa. Okay, so I caught him. Cuban tree frog. So there's one of two options, Hannah. These are either infesting the septic tank or these are the prey for whatever's living in there. There could be more snakes because water snakes especially love eating these. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Do I don't think? know. I don't know. So so these tree frogs are actually an invasive species, so we actually can't re-release it. But luckily enough, I have a friend that has a bunch of tree frogs. You know Mike, right? Yeah. So Mike is going to take the tree frogs. Um, I've got this tree frog in my hand, so let's get this guy away and let's go close the drain. And last but not least, so we didn't see anything in nebulas. We found a frog here, but Sweet. now, yeah, are you thinking the, about septic, septic tank? tank? Yeah, so we're gonna head in the septic tank. Last time we went in there, we found a water snake. So guys, Hannah and I are gonna go check it out and oh, who knows no. what we'll find. Okay, so we're back in the enclosure and before we close it up, we've actually gotta look and make sure that there's actually no more of these in here. So this drain right here, if you guys remember, this drain leads all the way around to the septic tank and Nebula's enclosure, the septic tank is right next to it, but let's look on it. Do you wanna reach in one more time? Did you feel anything else? I didn't feel anything else and I don't think there is Let me, anything let's else. look. Uh, okay, we're looking and, okay, I don't see anything, so why don't we screw this back okay, together? Let's, uh, let's do that. And we are one, two, three, we're done, done here. We've got the drain completely screwed back together, so now the moment of truth, the moment all of you have been waiting for, and quite frankly, the moment me and Hannah have been waiting for, you know what time it is, Hannah, right? So look in the septic tank. Yeah, guys, we're gonna go open up the septic tank and see what we can find. Dun -dun -dun -dun. There it is. The famed septic tank, no. so I'm stepping on the lid. It hasn't been opened in a while. There's a bunch of weeds in there. Hannah, what do you think is in there? I have no idea, and I'm not, not ready to find out. Yeah, guys, we have no idea what is going to be in here. So, guys, we're going to open it up, but before we do that, I think, all right, we need a different screwdriver, and, guys, I want you to let me know down below what do you think is in the septic tank. All right, so we're just starting to open this up. I had to get a flathead screwdriver to do it, and this is actually kind of difficult to open up, so, guys, we're opening it up, but I'm not sure I want to find out what's inside. All right, so I think we're good. I think I have the screw completely opened. So we're going to open it up in three, two, one. Ugh. Oh my 
Okay, well, it doesn't smell that bad. I mean, it smells, but it's not too bad. Um, let me see what's inside. Oh, right there. What? There's a tree frog right there. Oh? And there's tad... And there's millions... Really? Millions of tadpoles everywhere. Oh, Millions. Gosh. Okay, all right, guys. There's a frog. Millions of tadpoles, so clearly... They're breeding in here, thousands of these invasive species, so... All right, we're gonna need a net to see if we can scoop some of these guys up in a tank because we're gonna try and remove all these tadpoles because we don't want them in the enclosure, so let's go get a net, let's get a tank, and let's get these guys out. One minute, 37 seconds later. So we've got our two nets. We have a small, shallow net and a large, deep black net, and the holes on the black net are a little bit bigger than this one, so I think that this white net this time around is gonna be the best net. Um, so we're going to try scooping around and try and get some of these invasive species out. But first, let's try and catch this frog. All right, we're going on in. And one, two. Oh. Okay. There he is. We got oh, him. Right really? there. Right there. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. 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 oh, I just got septic tank water on my hands. There he is. So little Cuban tree frog. Again, another invasive species here. So we got one of the baby tadpoles. This guy is quite young. Really cute little frog, and we don't want him to get away, so we're just gonna cup him like that. We're gonna go up then, there he goes. So guys, let's get him in the bin and let's scoop up some of these tadpoles. So we're gonna do one large scoop and see if we can get anything. We're gonna do a couple large scoops just like this, and oh my. What? Thousands, right here. Okay, wait, wait, oh. let's get him, wait, wait, uh, let's get him in. Come here right now. So All right, we're gonna pour him in right now. One, two. Do you see that? That's oh, insane. Oh my gosh. Insane. Look oh my at gosh, all the thousands. tadpoles. Thousands of babies right here. Look at this. Oh this is so gosh. cool. So obviously mixed in there we have some carrots, which is from the lemur poop, but there's literally there's got to be at least not thousands, but there's got to be at least 100 in here so far. So guys, we already got a bunch. So let's keep scooping and see how many more we can find. So we're going to go back down right now. We're going to go all the way down one large scoop. Okay, we got more. Really? You, you can see that they're moving, yeah, but oh. we got a lot of nasty debris in there, so let's, okay. I don't really want to touch it, but let's actually try and get them in again. Let's see. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, do you gosh. see that? Yeah. So many tadpoles. So if you look, there's tadpoles of all sizes. There's tiny micro babies. There's like medium-sized tadpoles, and all of these guys are going to turn into that Cuban tree frog that you saw. So we've got a couple hundred so i want to see how many more we can find but i need your guys' help guys comment down below how many are living in my septic tank do you guys see them all at the surface there's a little one right there you see them they're like micro all right one two okay oh my gosh what oh, the biggest what? the biggest haul yet wait wait there's more there, there's more look at this look oh. at all the tadpoles oh my right here moving these are all Hundreds of more tadpoles. Let's get them on oh in. My gosh, Let's get them insane. on in right now. Let's see guys How many do we have? Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. gosh, this is nuts. That this is, is crazy There's Literally millions Jacob. literally millions of these tadpoles. They're all stuck to my net guys But the thing is it's nearly impossible to get all of these tadpoles out It's basically impossible now. There are a couple options of what we could do We could pour bleach in here, but I'm not gonna do that because there's all kinds of good natural bacteria in here that are helping break down the lemur poop. That's why there's really not that much poop and it's mainly just water. So we're not gonna do that, but if we have this many so far, I mean, guys, comment down below. How many do you think are in here? I mean, there's hundreds, if not thousands in here, a couple thousand, I mean, they're literally just everywhere. So we've got these so far, but I really don't think we're gonna be able to get any more, so let's actually do one more scoop, one more big scoop. Let's see. And, all right, we got some micro ones, so let's kind of get those guys in. And well, we got a bunch of these. And look, worms, <gasps> worms, Shut up. worms. Look, look. There's Wait. all these little worms right here that are living in the septic tank. You can see they're all here. They're like moving around. I'm not even sure what these things are. Guys, help me identify these. Um, I'm not really sure. They're definitely not mosquito larvae. Um, I know about insects, but I'm not sure. Oh. What? It's cup, Hannah. Oh my god. Do gosh. you see this? Wait. Look. Guys, there's thousands, thousands of these little worms right here. This is just like a bunch of grass. You can see they're all, do you see this, Hannah? Oh, is that literally just covered in worms? Yes, like a worm clump? there's like, a, just, like a, just a worm clump. There's like thousands Ew. of them. So there's thousands of whatever the heck worms these are. So, 
Hannah and I are gonna take care of this, guys. Help me identify what worms these are, and well, we've gotta get this septic tank screwed back shut because who knows what else is living in here, guys. Hopefully we won't have any more issues with this, but that's gonna end today's episode. Hope all of you guys enjoyed watching today's video going in the septic tank. I literally can't believe what we found. Can you believe this, Hannah? No, that's, that's insane. Insane, so guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below, how many tadpoles do you think we got and how many more are still living in this tank? So guys, I am seriously still in shock. Absolutely insane. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, again, get your tickets for Animal Con. The link is in the description. I'll be there. It's August 25th through the 27th. I'll see you guys there. So guys, thanks so much. Hit the subscribe button, tap that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.